Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for um, tuning in and make sure you click the subscribe button and you like this video. And if you're returning, uh, welcome back. I, I appreciate you guys' support. So today's video, I'm going to talk about how to embed a Facebook feed into um, your WordPress website without using um, a plugin. Um, and the reason why I'm... Um, mentioning it is because sometimes plugins can uh, slow down your website or sometimes plugins can be outdated or sometimes plugins can actually cause um, um, hacking issues so this is kind of like a cleaner more safer way to embed a Facebook feed into your website um, so yeah let's get into in the tutorial first you will want to go to developers.facebook.com and um, Basically, it will take you developers.facebook.com, and then you will want to go to um, how do I do this? Let me take it back. Yeah, you want to go to docs, and I'll leave this link in below as well, so that it it will actually go straight to the actual page, so you don't have to do these these steps. Yeah, let me just do that. So I'll just leave the link below so that um, you guys can just click on the link below and you'll reach this page right here, which is page plugin. And you want to make sure um, that you're on this page. And so what we're going to do is you're going to embed, try to get um, a Facebook embed code so that we can add it onto our website very easily. And this is done within minutes. So you First, you want to grab your Facebook URL. So your Facebook page URL, make sure that you grab your Facebook URL. I'm going to grab this one for a client. Uh, you can change the width. So if you do want to change the width in, within height, you can do so here. Um, you can also use a small header. So that I'm going to actually use a small header because it's kind of like duplicating right here. Um, so I'm going to use a small header. And then um, I'm going to hide the cover photo so that um, actually, the cover photo was nice. And yeah, I'm going to keep the cover photo, but you can hide the cover photo if you want. Uh, you can also hide your friends' faces if you don't want to show any, any of the people on there. Um, you can, I have adapt to plugin container width. So meaning is it's going to, like the width is going to adapt to the, to the plugin container wherever I put this, uh, wherever I embed this Facebook feed. It's going to adapt to that width, so it won't, so it won't, you know, so it's very responsive. And then, uh, if everything looks good, you can. This is kind of like a preview, so you can preview the Facebook feed. Um, and then, if everything looks good on to you, then what you would do is get code. And okay, so uh, for this, we need to go to iframe. In iframe, yeah, you still need the app ID. Uh, to choose your app ID. You may not, you may not. It doesn't matter. But if it does give you the code here, then you don't need the app. You, you don't need the app ID. I think it's mine's just defaulted because I've done many um, like uh, iframes for Facebook. So if you don't have one, I think it should be okay. Um, but if you do need one, I think it will prompt you to create one. But what you really need is the iframe code right here. You want to copy and paste. And then you want to go to your your uh, WordPress website. And then you want to go into your pages on where, you know, wherever you want to put, uh, you know, the actual um, Facebook feed at, right? And then you want to edit whatever page builder or if you have, you know, if it's um, within the dashboard, you want to edit that. And then, um, let's see, you want to add it there. Wherever you want to add it on, you just, you know, want to click. You just want to click. Uh, so this is a visual composure. So if you have visual composure, then this is a good tutorial for you. However, um, so what I'm doing is adding an element and I want to look for HTML. HTML and this will allow me to add HTML uh, embed code on the website so what I'm going to do is copy and paste and then I want to save 
I see. <laughs> okay. Then next, I'm going to save changes. Yep, I saved it. Then I want to exit out. And as you can see, it has appeared here. So that's how you embed a um, a Facebook uh, feed. Very easy, right? Very easy. So this is how you embed a Facebook uh, feed. Um, very easy, right? Very easy. So yeah, um, then I'm going to press update. So everything is updated. So this is how you can do an easy, very quick, and easy Facebook feed. If the YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTube, if the um, WordPress plugins are kind of complicated, you can just do these steps and it kind of gives you the same thing. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope, you know, you're able to understand this and that, you know, I've helped and, and that I probably helped a few people uh, overcome this issue that you've been having. Um, please let me know in the comments, um, you know, if you had any success or if you have any questions. And thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.